Hello everybody, welcome to the Walking Dead video and today we'll be doing my review for Tales of the Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 4 and this is the 35 years later episode, the first we've ever seen in the Walking Dead universe and it's quite mad that we have an episode that takes place this far into this timeline so let's jump right into this and talk about this episode this episode follows two characters. We have one character who is a doctor and he studies walkers. It's a very interesting premise with that character. And the other character is called Amy and she is literally just a colonist that gets lost. Ends up getting tied up with the doctor and they have a quest. And the plot of this episode is about these two characters having to reluctantly help each other so that they can go find this walker that Amy ended up damaging and the walker ended up losing his tracker and the premise of this episode is these two characters go out to go find this walker and then help Amy get back to her group. And that might sound fun or boring. However, guess what? Because it seems like such a simple premise, the episode has really bad pacing. I have to mention this now because it's one of the worst things about this episode is that the pacing is like season two of The Walking Dead at the farm level slow. Not really much happens. This episode is just super slow. There's nothing really going on. It's a lot of just talking, a lot of, oh, this happened, this happened, and just not really much. It is just snail pace. It's like the writers realized, oh, wait, this is such an easy thing when near like near the start or halfway of the episode, Amy finds Subject 21, and instead of like capturing or something, she runs back to go find the doctor and goes, yeah, I know where he is. How about you come with me and we walk for a really long time and talk to each other for a really long time, then go find him very quickly. It's just really kind of slow. It's like, oh, she found him, and then she leaves to come back to go find him again because they realize the episode still has a really long time. They've got to pad out the runtime. This episode just feels like 100% filler. Another thing I really don't like about this episode is the acting, and both of the characters are really not likeable. I think the worst out of the two is Amy, just because she comes off as arrogant and really stupid. The Doctor is just trying to do his own things, but Amy, she follows him down, gets to his house, and then refuses to leave him. And then when she leaves, she goes back to basically kind of blackmail him slightly, because she obviously clearly can't survive by herself even though it's 35 years in amy is just really annoying i really don't like her acting maybe it's the writing but she just came off as just one note no real range she was just like i'm arrogant i'm like me 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 i just really didn't like amy the doctor wasn't as bad but he was still pretty bad i didn't like the doctor he was just a bit up his own ass arrogant also i just didn't like both the characters they're both very dislikable i felt like they had zero chemistry the acting wasn't very good this is definitely the worst acted episode even though we had the kind of hammy episode episode two but i felt like the actors knew what they were doing so they're playing it up for the giggles they were definitely being over the top on purpose this was just like uh kind of boring i don't really know what i'm doing here just watching this episode that feels like a documentary and it has the padding and runtime of a documentary or feels like it does even though it's 42 minutes it feels like hours doesn't help that the acting is just kind of boring bland and borderline stupid at points i'm going back to amy because she was just a really annoying thing okay so in this premise of this episode Amy is not very well, she ends up attacking Subject 21, getting damaged, and then she follows the Doctor down, just because she ain't good. But the Doctor easily finds out, oh, she's just been eating gone-off berries, or unripe berries, and that is why she's sick. But if it's 35 years in layer, and this woman has grown up in the apocalypse, would it be common sense that she knows what she can eat and what she can't? It's just very stupid how it's been this long in the apocalypse and this person's dumb enough to eat wrong berries. It's just really dumb. Like, how does she survive to adulthood? She's obviously not 35 plus. She was obviously born in the apocalypse. How does she survive this long? It makes sense why she's missing an arm. She clearly didn't know what a walker was and put her hand in it. I really just didn't like it, and that's just one of many decisions Amy makes, which are clearly just really dumb, like a moment happens where you see these characters are clearly going to die, but Amy's like, I could save them. You clearly can, they had their guts ripped out. It's just really annoying, but let's just talk about some good things for now, okay, so I don't, like, blow a blood vessel. Some good things about this episode 
it looks very pretty. I was going to this episode going, oh, it's just going to be in the woods. There's nothing important. It's not even a single building you really see. It's going to be bad. Nah, it was very pretty. I liked the shots with drones. It was a very pretty episode. Even though there's some dodgy CGI of some animals, I didn't mind it. It wasn't like season seven deer bad. It was a very nice kind of episode. I liked the shots. It was very pretty. The locations were cool. And that was cool. It added to the aesthetic that it was a documentary. It really felt like a documentary because of the bad pacing. Like all documentaries have. And it had the cool shots. I felt this episode could have been better. If it already committed it to being a documentary. With the shots that they had at the start. With the commentary. But no it just turned to a kind of generic walking dead story as they kind of dropped the documentary style of the episode which kind of made it worse in my opinion but another plus the music is absolutely amazing some really good music especially at the end there's some really good music in this episode so that's great but now it's time to talk about the 35 years later kind of part of this episode which is the big selling point in this episode and the downside is it really isn't playing any point to the episode we're just told it's been 35 years and we don't really see much difference. The walkers look like they do in season 11 of The Walking Dead, which is 12 years. So apparently the walkers don't going to degrade anymore over the 23 years between these two episodes, basically. Which kind of sucks. So we get no special new kind of walkers like we saw emerging, or will see emerging at the end of season 11. Now we have generic soy walkers that look just like they did 23 years before this episode is set. So that kind of sucks. We also get told that society's kind of rebuilt and that they were able to dig this massive trench across this place called the dead zone to stop walkers. However, then we get told kind of by Amy that society's not really rebuilt. It's not really nice on the other side of the trench. So we kind of get contradictory things with the doctors like, oh yeah, basically people come over the trench to get walker heads because they're a novelty. And then you get Amy, who's been like, yeah, it's not very nice on the other side. Why do you think we're trying to go into it? And you're like, okay, so is society rebuilt? Is it not? What is on the other side? We get told one thing, we get told another, but we don't see it. And it's really annoying. We get this big kind of set 35 years later, but we don't see anything that shows it's been 35 years other than somehow society has been able to dig a very big hole around this big chunk of land. That is all we have seen. So the premise of 35 years later really sucks. To make it better, I definitely think the episode should have started with Amy. And we should have started an outpost on the other side of the trench. And it should have had those characters go through the trench. And we could have seen like, okay, they have outposts around the trench. We see that they clearly have some sort of organisation now. And society somewhat rebuilt. And then we meet the Doctor later instead of being from the Doctor's point of view to meet Amy being an idiot. And I just thought there's some really bad missed opportunities here for this episode but now it's talking about my one sentence that's one word overall review so this episode has a very clear story which is a big win however the pacing sucks the acting sucks the characters sucks there's lots of issues with this episode it might look great sound great and has a cool premise but none of it is really kind of like leaned upon really enveloped like it's kind of very shallow it's a very shallow episode and if this episode really pushed hard on the 35 years later pushed hard on maybe the documentary side of the episode it could have been straight up a documentary and the episode premise could have been people from this civilization went into the dead zone and they filmed a documentary and we were seeing it as it was like kind of filmed and stuff like that that would have been a really cool premise episode and that's how the episode should have been and i think that would have been a great episode it'd been a new vibe but no they decided to go hey we made it's a generic walking in episode tell everyone this takes place 35 years later but you can't really tell because there's nothing that really indicates that so it really sucks this episode has a really cool idea but is flawed that was what that's kind of my sentence i would say it's got a cool idea but flawed but please tell me down below what do you think about this episode did you like it did you dislike it what did you love about the episode what did you dislike what would you change about the episode i'd like to know all your thoughts and opinions down below and if you want to see my last week's review, look in the top right. And if you want to see episode 5's review, look in the top left. But this is it for me today. So goodbye, peace out, and I will talk to you at a later date.